From search and rescue to fighting fires, Wayne Township Fire Department is extending its own repertoire thanks to flying cameras just like this one, hovering safely above potentially dangerous incidents, giving a 360 degree view of what's below. They weigh only a few pounds, but drones are giving Wayne Township Fire eyes in the sky. It gave us better situational awareness of what was going on. We could look at the incident from all angles. The department rolled out its fleet of unmanned aerial vehicles three years ago. Once we got the aircraft and we started using them, we immediately saw a huge benefit. When a cornfield caught fire, Wayne Township's drone flew through the smoke pinpointing where to send crews and water. A similar use at large structure fires where hot spots are seen from above faster than they're found by crews on the ground. And that's a safer situation. But drones are taking the fire department away from just fires. Here, the drone captured a bird's eye view of flood damage. It's also been used in working fires and drills, even hazmat incidents. Now they're expanding. We can also carry a payload with this. Aiding departments outside Wayne Township. It's not uncommon for us to get a phone call in the middle of the night uh, or actually any time. Like on June 20th, IMPD called in the drone when a teen with autism went missing. From above, the UAV was able to clear large parts of the woods that otherwise would have been tackled on foot. Very smart aircraft. Here's how it works. A floor camera is attached to the drone. The colors change on the monitor, where humans and animals glow brighter. So when it flies through the woods, through the darkness, it can see what's below. The more and more we're training in those environments, actual real life environments, the better our folks are getting. Wayne Township Fire says it's promoting the UAV technologies each and every time they assist outside departments, saying it's an agenda and a technology system they're happy to endorse because they see the benefit each and every time they take them out to fly. On the northwest side, I'm Trisha Hart, Fox 59 News.